Well, welcome, welcome. Here we are, Jenny and I. You've seen videos from us before. <laughs> I do this so I can see, I make adjustments. Mm -hmm. Because you know me, I like a weird right. color palette and I almost went a different way. Almost went a different way with this. I think you're going along with kind of what you're wearing today. Oh, whoops. I tend to do that. I might be having a vibe today. <laughs> It might be a certain We vibe. just see like a big queen sign in there. Like, <laughs> glitter. Yes, yes. That's you know what I mean? Like, that, you, glitter is about sums it up. <laughs> really loving the gunny. I don't know why. It's just happening. It's freaking awesome, is why. It can things in here. Yes. I'm going with it. That's what I'm doing. Going with it. I have it. no idea what I'm doing yet, but it's okay. It'll come. Mm -hmm. I am like, it is too small. So So when you green, that's something you gotta think about. If you're using two different greens, how are you gonna flow the two different greens together? Cause like you've got this beautiful gunny. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to think about that. But when you mix two greens. Well, I am a mix so. Are you? Mm -hmm. Just gotta add some stuff throughout. Yeah, that's a good tip. Yes. Just mix it through if you're using more than one green. If you put a lily and a dahlia in a arrangement together, whether that's an oasis or a vase or whatever, the lilies were, will more than likely have oh, oh, absolutely. Especially if you use tight. So when, you, when I design, in order for the flower arrangement to last, I try and use things that are, I kind of like use a little bit of everything. And I, I've been talking about instant gratification and how you, um, we as a society like things to look good right now. And so I combine things that are going to last longer with things that are instant, like the values are instant gratification. And so I make the arrangement kind of keeping in mind that, you know, the values may not last and I could literally clip them out. So I make it full enough so that these things will keep blooming and the arrangement I could clip out other things and keep these in here. Then it makes it, it more interesting, right? So this is Corcovado. It's one of the lilies that we grow at our farm. Um, it's an OT lily, which means it's kind of in between an LA hybrid and a oriental lily. Normally when we design, or you too, you use a lot more different kinds of flowers than you, know, you use filler and different kinds of flowers to make interest. So, this, in this case, we're using only two different kinds of flowers, but we're using color to create the interest, right? Yep. Um, so, and I don't normally design like that either, but. No, and usually we put accents in flower arrangements. Right. Like you'll see some kind of whatever, berries or whatever. And yeah. so, when you are designing with just simple flowers like this, you want to make sure you use these. Yeah. Every little thing. Every yes. little thing that comes off the flower that's a little, that's going to yeah. add that accent or interest. Mm -hmm. That's what you definitely want to do, right? Um, because it's going to create interest in your bouquet. So I think we did that a lot. We used to fold tulip leaves. Oh yeah. We used to do all kinds of different things because we didn't have a lot of different flowers. We would really design with what was here at the farm a lot of the time and just add greens and filler. And sometimes we didn't even have filler. So sometimes those tulip leaves and different things that we put in right. things were actually the filler sticks. When I make flower arrangements, when I have them in my home, I'm constantly looking at them. Oh yeah. Because it makes me feel good. So my flowers are kind of where the interest in my house kind of comes from. Yeah, so Same. my flowers can be a little bit busy because they're kind of yeah, no, they're more are. like, you know what I mean? That is, this is the thing, you always can allow your personality to come through your flowers. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really important and it's like, there's a lot of designers out there, but there's only one of you. True. So everyone's design is gonna look different. Like you and I could be given the same materials they're never going to look the same. No, that's they're true. going to look completely different. And the only equation that's different in that is the person. Right. So. So sometimes you'll break, like I just I broke like the stem. Uh -huh. And so I had to cut it down, but I actually kind of like it. So I put it down low. And um, 
we talked about this before too, but we like to add interest. So depth can create interest. So if you put things on the inside, almost like a little like, ooh, what's in there kind of thing, um, it creates this extra depth in the arrangement. It's like a surprise. You see how there's like a tiny little bit, maybe I should show the camera, there's a tiny little bit of yellow in here. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. why the arrangement works. Yes. So whenever, because this color is very different than this mm -hmm. here, but this lily brings all right. of this together. Right. And yet, they're on opposite sides. Right. And that's how I kind of work all, I always work that way. Like I, it's cookies. When I do like arrangements, I'll kind of spread things out here and there, but you know, like, I'll um, do like one like certain branch on the side and then I'll counteract it with another color completely. I'll still have like the same kind of spread, but it won't be like see, so you have like this color here and this color here together, but I won't bring these over here. I don't, that's the, how I design. I think it's very garden, like to me, whenever I look at your designs, it always reminds me of how you, if you stepped into a garden, yeah, that's how your designs always look. Right. And I, I think that's amazing. It's, an it's amazing. kind of a cluster thing. It's a, yeah. well, and it's a gift. You know, it's a gardening gift. Let's see here. I think I'm, ooh, yep. Yep, that's going in next. Look at this. I love these dahlias. They're gorgeous. Ooh, those, I already like what you got going on there. Those yellow dahlias are so, I'm adding those to my tea. I don't even so do cute. yellow, girl. I never put, I don't do yellow a lot. Really? No. We're branching out today. There's a tiny little bit of yellow on this shirt. I guess that's where we're going. I love these dots. They're just so pretty. And I don't usually do dark containers. That's not usually something, you know, but I love this. I love it. Black, black. I know. Oh, it's like gosh. very, it's like very. balance and floral design, I think it has to be the same flower. Yeah. Right. I agree. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same flower. No, but I've seen, I just started designing this way. Oh, did you? I don't think I used to design this way. Maybe I didn't, I just wasn't I aware, but now I'm more aware of like, oh, I just, I think it's like I balance the form. Hello? Buddy? <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah. there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Now she's got The yeah, second I walk in, I was like, Oh my gosh, Jenny, I love that. It's coming together. <gasps> Those colors are just, they're pretty. Mm. I think I'm trying to decide. I like that in there now. Because I think it ties this. Sorry, I got distracted the flowers. I know, right? <laughs> I don't it's know like, how that happens. It's like squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. Right. So are you done for the day? So um, did you find out whether or not you need to um, drive to your cross country maybe yourself? Or? The bus. Oh, you're going to take that bus? Drop you off where? What time? What time? Uh, what time are you leaving? Oh, pretty soon. What time? 12.26. Okay, so yeah. Because we're both, we both got to get this done. Okay, we're going to finish this. I love you. And then you also want them to be through the bottom because these are showstoppers. You don't want your showstoppers 
all just right here. You want to bring the eyes through. So this is something I just started to notice because you and I have worked with lilies for a long time. We've worked with lilies for a really, really long time. Like I can't see you, girl. We've worked with lilies for a really long time. And I noticed just looking, I'm in a lot of different, you know, floral groups. And I was like, oh, so interesting. Like everyone designs so differently. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's ever a wrong way or a right way to design. But I think with lilies, lilies are um, a more expensive flower. Mm -hmm. And so you really want to get fullness out of them. And the way to get the fullness out of lilies is to actually put them through the arrangement so that your eye is drawn into this arrangement. Because if you look at your arrangement, your eyes are drawn to those lilies and then you're able to work your way through to all the other flowers. Right. Right. So that's why you really want to put your showstoppers at where you're breaking the line of your container. Oh gosh. Yeah. Like in this area. Yeah. Breaks yeah. the line. Your eyes travel. So you don't even see, like I don't even see my container. No, and I don't see yours either. When you're designing, it's always good to have your one, two, and three so your eye travels through the arrangement. You know? Love it. It's pretty. It's so whimsical. These feels, this feels a little whimsy to me mm -hmm. because of this. Mm -hmm. so normally, I do kind of a two-sided arrangement, but today, I'm just going to do a face arrangement. Gorgeous. How do we do this every time? <laughs> okay. This is so funny. Nicolette and I do not communicate, like, <laughs> verbally. But I just want you guys to know, we did like a, a rounded design, right? Mine's very rounded. It's got kind of a rounded vibe to it. It's good from all sides. You could put it anywhere. And Nicolette did amazing and did a face arrangement. So I don't know how we do that, but we do it every time. Thank you for joining us. Um, we, again, this is what we love to do and we love to share it with you. I would love to see some comments on, you know, what, what your creativity mode is um please make sure you subscribe to my channel i will also put down um and we'll we'll have jenny's information too i'm sure that you'll probably put this video on your youtube yes, channel as well yeah. so we're going to have all of our information down below um jenny is amazing please follow her as well she's she's just like you know like she said she breaks it down to simple ways of designing and once you get that basic down then you can learn the flow as we do so anyway thanks for joining us i hope you have an amazing day remember you matter you are amazing and you are worth the vibing and flowing beautiful things around you have an amazing day <laughs>